Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Do you think you're smart? Maybe you think you always need to say the right things and chime in with the best advice in order to sound intelligent, but it's not always about what you say. Sometimes it's about what you don't say. So here are a few things smart people choose not to say in public. Number one, I'll try. Do or do not, there is no try. The wise words of Master Yoda from Star Wars. Best to listen to the master, right? It's great to try, to put your best effort into what you do. But the words, I'll try, can offer room for failure and excuses when used too often. This is a phrase that is best not to be overused. Yes, we all fail at tasks at some point, but when we can, it's a good idea to either commit to what you're going to do or come up with a new strategy or solution if you can't achieve your initial goal. Search around for a new way to solve the problem if the old isn't working. Is there a way you can find a new solution to achieve a difficult goal? Number two, it's not fair. Smart people learn from their mistakes. They don't spend most of their time complaining about the past. Instead, they learn from it. Most people know life isn't fair. Life has its ups and downs, unexplainable faults and unexpected problems. When you overuse the phrase, it's not fair, you're just bringing up something everybody already knows. Number three, I give up. It's good to know your limits, but do you often say this phrase? The thing is, most often it can be easy to give up. Smart people have proven their capabilities to others by not giving up. When you feel like giving up, ask yourself, am I capable of continuing on if I give myself what I need to complete this task? Can I overcome this? In many cases, perseverance and motivation are all you need to continue on and look towards a solution. Number four, you look tired. How many times have you been told this? Have you been guilty of saying this to someone? It's normal to be concerned for a loved one or friend, but if you're worried about your friend, it's best to refrain from pointing out how tired they look for the world to see. Odds are, they know how tired they look. They probably don't feel the best as well. You're letting them know that everyone can tell something is up with them in the least helpful way. That is, if there are no follow-up questions. If you notice your friend looks off, maybe you could ask them how they're doing. Number five, it's not my fault. If it's really not your fault, it's best to refrain from randomly jumping in with this phrase. When you throw in this phrase in a group, when you yourself are not confronted, it can imply you're ready to point the finger at someone else. Or if you did have a bit of fault in this situation, it means you aren't taking accountability for what you've done. And number six, I can't. Okay, okay, sometimes we really can't do something. That's fair. But if you overuse this phrase when you know you're capable of doing what is asked, then, well, you can. It's good to know your limits, but instead of jumping to saying, I can't, focus on, I can't yet. Maybe you just need a bit of help. Maybe you can learn. Maybe with due time, you can. Smart people look to what they can learn. They try their best not to limit themselves. Actually, they don't try. They either do or do not. As Yoda says, there is no try. Thanks for the tip, Yoda. Thanks for the tip, smart lad. So which of these phrases are you guilty of overusing? Are you a fan of Star Wars? Share with us in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.